Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm here at home today, not at Cake Boy for a change. And guess what? I've got a fantastic guest with me. I've got my good friend, Thomas Kehan. Yay! Hello, everybody. Together, we're going to make a delicious cake. We're going to make a pumpkin, pecan, and chocolate cake. So, to start, we're going to melt some chocolate and butter together. Okay. So we've got some good quality dark chocolate that's going to go in a bowl here and some unsalted butter. Okay. Nice. Good ingredients make good cakes. So that's going to go in a pan of simmering water. Okay. And so that just melts down? Yeah. Nice. And you just leave it to happen. In the meantime, we're going to prepare our cake batter. So here, I got some dark muscovado sugar. Mmm. It does smell incredible. Really tough. Twinkle. Mm. Natural. Mm-hmm. Unrefined. Beautiful. Nice. That goes into the mixer. And I need three eggs. That's why you need an assistant in a kitchen. <gasps> three eggs. Beautiful. Three eggs. And those go on top of our sugar. Important things, egg and sugar together, they eat each other as soon as they get in contact. So you need to put the mixer straight on. Okay. Or you get the scrambled eggs in. Dark muscovado can be quite lumpy. So you want to get this lump to disappear. Okay. So it's a perfect atom cake, you know, right. for a special occasion or something. So it's good. It's God, great. look how fluffy. You can see it's lovely and fluffy. Yeah, yeah. So you need to bring this, um, this fluffiness. I love that word. I love a bit of fluffiness in the exactly. kitchen. Exactly. <laughs> so I'll go check the chocolate. Yep. Okay. How are we doing? We've got melted chocolate. I'm going to bring it to okay, you. Okay, don't burn yourself. I'm not to burn myself. Okay, so melted chocolate, melted cocoa. Great, look at that. That looks amazing. Look how voluptuous it is. Straight in. Oh, wow. All right, I'm going to beat those together again. Okay. Wow, look at that. Nice and glossy and smooth. And we don't want to overdo it at this stage. Okay. So this is just to combine the ingredients together. And now, we're gonna add some water to it. Okay. I know it sounds a bit strange. Yeah, it does sound a bit strange. Trust me, it does work. I'm that's what's gonna make your cake nice and soft and nice. Okay, okay. So it's got a runny mixture, but that's normal. Don't panic. Okay. People always panic when it's something too sticky, too liquidy, and then. Okay, final drop. And now I'm gonna fold in the flour. Okay. Am I doing an okay job here? Yeah, I feel perfect. Like I'm getting the flour everywhere. It's getting a little that's bit. That's part of the thing. That's why you need to get a large bowl. <laughs> okay. This is self-raising flour, so that's going to lift our cake. Very important when you use self-raising flour, as soon as the liquid touches the flour, the baking powder is going to start to activate, so okay. you need to move on at this stage. Uh -huh. Vanilla bean paste. Nice. Three teaspoons will add a serious boost of flavor. A bit smoky, a bit um, sweet mint. Wow, oh, it's incredible. We're almost there, okay. almost there. How fast is that recipe? We've got some grated pumpkins. If you can't get pumpkins, you can get butternut squash. That work as well. And if you can't get butternut squash, you can use some carrots. Okay. Okay, that goes in with all the juices. And finally, we've got some roasted pecan nuts here. Hot oven for five minutes with a good dusting of cinnamon and golden custard sugar. And actually, like roasting them like that gives this wonderful smoky sort of taste to it. Yeah. I like how this cake is going so far. Okay, so I'm just mixing the pecan. And don't over mix it, because you don't want to break the pecan nuts. I want to fan them whole. I want to fan the bits of the pumpkin as well inside. Okay. They're nice and chunky, so. It's a chunky cake. Chunky cakes. A chunky monkey. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I'll go get the cake too, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's ready to go in the oven. Okay. This is the beauty of having one of these mixers that has a spout. You call it the spout? A spout, yeah. Is that not a spout? Okay, I didn't know that. I learned something today. What do you call it in French? Le bec. Le bec. This looks really incredible now. Is it ready to go in the oven? Uh, it could be, but you know, I'm a professional, so I want a nice finish. So we're going to grab some extra pecan nuts here. Nice. And we're just going to place them nicely on the top. Et voilà! Et voilà! Ready to go in the oven. Preheated to 170. Should take around 50 to 60 minutes. So here we are, we got our cake. It's here. It cooled down 20 minutes in the tin. It looks absolutely epic. What are you going to serve right. alongside with this? Um, I think with something like that, creme fraiche mm -hmm. on the side, just to you know give it a bit of a acidity, so it's great, refreshing. Lovely. Or custard. Oh yeah, custard. I'm I love custard. Yeah, go and cut. cut through. Wow. You can see all the lovely God. chunk inside. That is incredible. It's so dense. And actually, is yeah. that, that's why you add the water then. That's it. Wow. You can see it's quite, um, you know, it's almost like pudding-like. Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. 
So, here we go. Wow. Oh, yes. Mmm. And you can serve it warm as well if you want to. Delicious warm. Mm. In the oven. Mmm. 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 That is absolutely glorious. I mean, it's really dense, it's really moist, and I think the addition of the pumpkin in there kind of it gives it this sort of fresh sweetness to it. Mm. This is really, really good. You can mm. taste the cinnamon as well from mm. the pecan. And if you want to see more of us, including that delicious recipe of Bonafi cake we bake together, subscribe to Donald's channel, it's fantastic. And of course, subscribe to mine for more baking adventure and recipes. Leave plenty of comments as well, because we love them. We do. Love them. Underneath here. And like, share, please like and share. And love. Bye-bye. High five. High five. <laughs>